Uh, talking about the, 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 the balance, you know, the goalkeeper, the defence, the midfield, you're pretty happy that all the bases are covered. Yeah, obviously, you know, there's one or two players, you know, uh, that uh, that didn't come with. I mean, like, first, he's one of the key players. And, um, but uh, from, from, from like you said, from goalkeeper, we got experience there, defenders, we got good, good stuff of, of defenders, midfield, you know, you got your Percy Taos, and then obviously um, what uh, plan B going forward is that, you know, we've got strikers that, that runs onto the ball. We don't have a target man, and Frost would have been that, that one. Mm. Unfortunately, he's got, uh, you know, mental uh, problems. I hope that uh, he gets well on, on that side, but look, at is what it is. Uh, he would have fit in nicely to give them that sort of plan B, play up to the striker, hold the ball, wait for the midfielders to come on and then spread it out wide. But um, I think with the coach's experience, he thought that with this team, this is the best outfit that he can take and to compete in the FCON Cup. You were scoring was your, was your forte, you scored goals for, for breakfast. Um, we haven't scored goals um, as Bafana. Yeah. Uh, obviously, that's a problem, uh, but how do we... Get it right. I know it's, it's a short period of time in the tournament. Yeah, look, it's, it's a difficult thing because you have to look at 95% uh, of our PSL clubs when they play. And sometimes I'm laughing because it, it's not a laughing matter. You know, I always say goal win games and, and, and unfortunately it hasn't been going like that in the PSL for 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. We've got that same problem and we say we want to follow overseas, but we're not doing what they're doing. I mean, a lot of times they got striker coaches, not because I'm a striker. Mm. They got goalkeeper coaches, they got defender coaches, and we're not doing it in our country. I've done it with Supersport, and it was success. Mm. You know, with Kevin Johnson, um, I took his strikers, and he said to me, Mark, there's something that you've got mm. that only you can teach my, teach my strikers. And sometimes you need to do that. It makes the coach's job easy. But you know, as some coaches, uh, it's always a threat when they see another coach is coming. But like, yeah. like I said, is that uh, it's not something that you can just do. It's, it's something that the player needs to feel. He needs to have that confidence and they take it onto the field. But also the players need to know that he's got the confidence because otherwise when they give the ball once, doesn't matter who you are, you're not going to give it a second time because you gave him and he misses. And uh, it's something that you need to work on. Uh, we haven't been doing that. So when I look at it and I'm like, I'm not going to watch this interview because I know the coach is going to say, We've been playing very good, and that's been happening with Bafana also. Because if you look at the league, it's not been, they haven't been scoring consistently. So don't expect the national team to score also consistently. Because only if the league has been scoring, you know, even at your top teams at Sundowns, uh, uh, Pirates, at Chiefs, every week, we're not finishing in the last third. And it's sad because you got some good strikers that's waiting for the opportunities. I mean, I had a chat with Marks Mapunyani, mm. I had a chat with Say McGregor, I had a chat with Jerez Casano. These were, Fani Madira, these were strikers that scored week in, week out. Now, there must be something that they had. And I just want to share it with players and say, look, this is what I did, and let's work on that. Mm. And if you can work on that, that is something that coaches must take serious. I don't want to be a coach, but I'm a good striker coach because I've got a, I've got a gift to score goals, and that's what we're lacking. Hopefully we can get that department right, because even yesterday in the friendlies, they didn't also score. Mm. So um, let's, you know, it, it can sometimes click. You know, there is guys that can score goals, you know, with Percy Tau and Mahopo, but you know, you want the all overall from the, everybody to feel they put in a piece to make sure that it happens. And our group, um, not, a, not an easy group, eh? Yeah, def definitely not an easy group. You know, Mali's always been a difficult team to play against. Um, you know, the, and especially where the FCON Cup is, they almost like we are with Namibia next to us. Mm. So they'll be feeling like they're playing in the backyard. But look, um, I think that's a must three pointer. If we really want to go far, I give them that three points. Not that's not a gift. But I think with the team that I saw this morning, when you hear about players and you're not there, I've been here, I've seen the breakfast, the send off, it makes a big difference. There is a lot of experience in, and if they can put that together, we can beat Mali a 2-1, uh, that, that, that is minor one. And then Namibia, we can beat them 3-0, and people mustn't say that Namibia is easy. They're not going to be easy, they could be difficult. By the time we get to Nisa, we should have six points. That puts us through into the next round. I'm hoping the coach can tell the players the same stuff that I'm telling you now. Let's hope so. Now, 
How far can these boys go? Well, um, I've always say that it, it, you know, if I was probably a fortune teller, I would have tell you how far I would have loved them to get into the finals, because then anything can happen. Um, their big challenge comes in the next round, because that means once they qualified out of this round, um, which a lot of people don't give them, I give them to go through to the next round, and they will get um, a Cameroon, uh, Egypt. And that's where, you know, that is where we're going to see the strength of this Bavana team. Mm -hmm. And um, after that, uh, it's, it's only for them to decide really what they want. I hope they got character in the team. I've seen they got a couple of Linda Butelazes guys that can kick. Mm -hmm. They got uh, guys like Doctor that can hold onto the ball. But like I said, in the kitchen where it's hot, that's where you need to put the ball in the back of it. Hopefully they can put it together. The coach can tell them how you want it with Cameroon and then just let them believe that they can do it. And it would be nice because 95, the rugby guys won the World Cup and 96, we won it. So 2023, the rugby guys won the World Cup. Who knows? Mm. Maybe 24, the guys can win the Afghan Cup. They, you know, there's nothing is impossible. It's only for them to go out and give us 100%. If I can see 100%, I'm behind this Bafana team. Now, the other thing is that um our domestic league ran up until the 30th, the 31st. Uh, the players got like four days off. Um, they went to Stellenbosch for another four days and they came back and you know, a few days and then there was a training match. Uh, the coach talks about after after the Lesotho match, he said that the players are not fresh. Uh, you think that can be a problem for us? No, it's going to be a problem. No, definitely. Uh, I mean, yes, that's what the coach said because you know what? As a coach, you're always going to have to talk uh, positive about the team. But as a player, you know what it is. You know, the more time you have with the players, preparation, you know, I mean, we, you know, we were, um, due to that, we were two weeks or three weeks, you know. And, and, and I think there was a time when the coach were asking for the PSL to stop some of the games. Mm. They could have stopped it. And it's, it wasn't going to affect even any of the being late or things like that. They should, uh, you know, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, all these things come and play. Do they have enough time? Um, because players can come tied back from their clubs. Uh, I mean, half of the team is called from Sundowns players. Mm -hmm. And I always say, teams that win the FCON Cup is a team that's more hung hungry, that wants to win it. If I feel that the Sundowns players can take that over and share it with the other players, then, then we can go far into this tournament. Mm -hmm. Lastly, the experience of the coach. He has been there with Cameroon. He has been on the continent for a while now. Do you think his experience can come through for this team? Well, um, if it's anybody else, because, uh, I mean, yes, they got one assistant coach, Amal Makaleli, that's been with that team. Mm. I think, you know, if he can just one, one and they pick out certain players, talk to them, share that story with them, and tell them what the dream it was for him, mm. You know, and, and that is sometimes what players want to, to hear. We had a great sort of uh, Madiba magic that also came in. But you, you go, Bruce, he wanted to just share those stories with players and say that, you know how I won as a coach. This is what I did. And I've got the same players here that I think you guys can do it. And it just helps them to believe and to have that confidence. You know, who knows? You know, a story, if you tell a story to somebody and he, and he you know, not everybody's going to pick it up, but certain people picks it up. They can then do it and, and, and deliver it on the day of play. And I mean, lastly, you picked, you touched on Hellman, and a lot of people don't really talk much about him. And um, as you're saying, he can be that, you know, point of reference, uh, you know, having been there also as a player, or having won it in and all that kind of stuff. And uh, maybe sometimes, you know, speaking heart to heart with the players. You know, he's somebody who can be key for us at this time. Yeah, no, definitely. He, he plays a very key. You see, um, sometimes it, it all depends how it, how he's in the camp and how players see him. But, you know, if he's going to sit down with players and call them once and say, hey, you know what, you can do better. This is what I did. Um, and, 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 and players are like, wow, wow, wait, this guy won it. You know, he's a senior, he was there. I must listen to this. And if I take a little bit of what he said and I do it onto the field, it's definitely a positive side. And I'm hoping that they, they give him that role, that sometimes he can just go and talk to the players and just tell them what a team we had 96, so that they can say, well, 
if we want to be like that team, then we have somebody uh, that's part of it. And maybe we can do it for him. And if we don't do it for him, let's do it for our country. And if we don't do it for our country, let's do it for ourselves. And then, you know, anything can happen on the day uh, when it comes to semifinals and finals. Mark, thank you very much. Hopefully, your record of two goals in the final for South Africa can be broken. But for that to happen, we'll have to wait. And see. No problem. It, did, it was broken with the Bayana Bayana team. Oh, yeah. Um, but, you know, yes, I know you say, oh, yes, but people sometimes, like you said, don't take it serious. But it was something that was um, the lady that uh, mm. scored the two goals. Mm. So, yeah, and, you know, um, it, it would be nice that while you're still alive to see when are we going to win another one because it, it's due. And, um, you know, if it's not this one, then it, it has to be the next one. And we just have to keep on.